Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So we have a review for you on this uh, Next Tech portable CD radio cassette recorder uh, picked up from the source. Uh, these things are about 50 bucks new, which is actually very reasonable and well worth the 50 bucks in my opinion. Um, an advanced heads up, I'm going to give this thing for everything that it is, price and everything else, I'm going to give this, you know, uh, a good 4 out of 5 stars, you know. Um, you can never give everything, anything, period, a five-star rating. In fact, I, I get very scared when I see too many five-star ratings out of five on stuff uh, because nothing's perfect. So I have to question the reviewer uh, quite a lot when they, you know, give something a five-star rating uh, as a complete overall. And that just isn't realistic in my world um, because it's technology and it ain't perfect. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I would say for, you know, for price, for quality, um, you know, build quality overall is very, very good on it. Um, the conveniences that it offers, um, versatility, you've got radio, you got CD, you got cassettes. So if you still have cassettes, you can play cassettes. You know, I don't have any, so I got to go buy some. Maybe I'll find some of my old favorite tunes over at Value Village or something. Uh, but anyway... Um, I'm, I wasn't looking for something, you know, like a bass boom boom thing, you know, I've been through all those phases in life. I just wanted simple tunes and access to uh, not just radio, but also at least my CDs, you know, so cassettes are kind of an optional thing. It's there if I want it. Now, let's go over um, how this thing works and features and whatnot. So we've got our cassette buttons obviously on top and we can record on cassettes here. Um, our eject button is here. If you just push and hold it for a couple seconds then let it go, it pops open and you can gently pull it down the rest of the way with your finger, pop your cassette in, put it in, play it, do your thing, and again, a couple of seconds, boom, and it opens up. So that's not too bad. It, it's, it's decent. Now let's uh, go with turning the side here. We've got headphone jack, uh, which can also be used for external speakers if you have them especially if you're sound quality picky. Um, you've got CD tape, AM, FM function switch, volume control. We've got the antenna on the back here, should we need to use it. Power on and off, which is nice. Um, it's a totally separate entity from the switch, so it's less wear and tear on the switches, which is good. So I like that. Uh, we keep rotating. We have our tuning dial for our radio, for our AM and FM. Now, if you turn it upside down, we've got a panel for fitting eight C-cell batteries in. That's going to add a little bit of weight, but yeah, who cares? Um, fact is, eight C-cells, you can play a lot of tunes for quite a while. And you need some juice to run a CD player anyhow if you're going to run CDs. But this gives you the availability to take it to the beach, out on your back deck, and not have to worry about running hydro anywhere, um, that sort of thing. Um, accessing the CD player is very simple. Just lift up the little tab, pop your CD in, you want it out, take it out. Nice spring-loaded system tray, which is good. Pop CD back in. That's it, she shuts. It's not one of those push and let go systems, which we're always breaking down all the time. This is nice. It's just a lid that opens and closes. You know, it's very nice and convenient. I like that. Um, so, let's uh, show you what the sound is like on this thing. Now, just keep in mind, this is sound going through a camera. You're going to listen to it on your computer, and it's going to sound totally different in real life. And that's what uh, a lot of people don't realize when they watch videos on stuff like this, is that you never really actually know until you hear it for yourself. You know, that's the deceptive part, but I can tell you this much, it's not very bassy. Um, it does have some treble and mids to it, but not a ton load of bass. This thing is not made to be a boom boom box, okay? It's made for practical use, functionality, and it has a decent sound to it. So, let's turn the radio on first. Okay, we'll tune around the stations. Somebody shovel this. The backyardigans are taking the stage at uh, Kids. <laughs> okay. Now, let's 
switch it over to the CD function. Can't show you any tape cassette stuff because, yeah, don't have any tapes, but, you know, it does play tapes. No problem. Piece of cake. So it's already scanned my CD. I've got 13 songs. Now, you can repeat. It has a repeat function here, so you press it once. Repeat once. Repeat all or off. You have a programming feature too, which I gotta figure out how to program it all, but you can program up to 20 tracks to play in any order you want. You can repeat tracks. You can repeat the whole darn song 20 times in a row or you know, up to 20 times, whatever you wanna do type of thing. Um, you do have fast forward and rewind basically for skipping it's tracks. So, you wanna search ahead, song six. Let's go to 10, Let's go back, it's pretty quick, pause, unpause, stop, very simple, easy to use. These are great for kids too, you know, as a, you know, ghetto blaster type thing for them in their room or whatever. To work good but if you really want better sound quality plug in some external speakers if you want the extra quality of sound but otherwise what's built in you know I have constraints in my shop where I can't I don't have a lot of space to put a radio at all uh, anymore since I did uh, the last set of renovations to the shop and uh, so this actually fits size wise it's better quality sound than the little tiny radio I have in there now and I have my access to CDs now, which I didn't have before, and option for cassettes, which is great. So, as far as how loud it goes, I'll crank it, but I mean, it, it is a deceptive thing, right? Like I said, it's not very bassy, you know? Um, but it can go quite loud, you know, and at full blast it still actually sounds good. Um, although I don't recommend ever running any kind of stereo of any sort full blast. It's not good for it or your speakers. Um, but it works good. It does the job. Very happy with it. It's more than worth the money. You know, probably even better deal if it was on sale. But, you know, hey, sometimes you get sale times and sometimes you don't. Uh, if you can wait for the sale, then you wait. If not, well, you grab it. Um, you get a basic manual of this thing that you know goes through and it tells you, um, you know, the features of it, about the batteries, uh, FCC stuff you need to know, recording CD player, all the features, how to do the programming for the CD player. Um, you know, so it's got your main basics. Now, it consumes 12 watts worth of power. Now, it doesn't have 12 watts of output power. And that's a big deception that a lot of people seem to have. They say, oh, 600 watt, damn. No, it consumes 600 watts. It doesn't put out 200 watts, you know, um, or whatever your wattage may be. But power consumption is 12 watts of hydro. Power supply is 120 volts. You know, so it, it tells you, you know. Um, your AM, your FM frequency range that you get to play on, uh, the antenna, um, CD selection, top loading CD player, CD size, 5 inch and 3 inch compatible, so you can use little um, micro CDs which are pretty neat, and your headphone jack, your limited warranty, uh, you got one year from data purchase, you know, so it's got, you know, your whatever information you really need to know. So, I mean, the only thing I need to read the manual for myself is to figure out the programming if I ever want to use it, which I really could care less about the programming feature. I just play my CD. If I get bored with that song, I'll just skip to the next, you know, and just keep going at it that way. Um, but otherwise, all in all, I mean, I even like the color. It's my favorite color, you know, uh, black. I love black, um, you know, so um, I'm pretty happy with this. But um, anyways... Feel free to uh, leave your comments and, uh, you know, if you have any questions, I mean, I don't know what more I can tell you than what I have now, um, but uh, so far so good. Uh, you know, the test of time always tells, but we've been having some really good luck with the Next Tech products and they're at least affordable, which is great. 
Um, so I'm sure this one's going to serve its purpose rather well for quite a long time for me. Um, you know, that's what I'm hoping for anyhow, because I hate replacing st stuff unless I have to. Um, but, uh, so I'm hoping that this thing uh, lasts me for quite a long time, but so far everything's looking good on it. Anyways, thanks again, and uh, we'll check you on the next video.